Yo, what's going on y'all? It's your boy Vel and we're back with another video and this one we're going to be talking about a huge topic when it comes down to YouTube growth and this is actually something that a lot of bigger creators and a lot of people who are successful don't actually want you to know because people who understand this it'll start to oversaturate the market and then you'll start to be a threat for some of the other people doing it and that's just the truth that's the truth of the matter this is why people will tell you certain things like stay consistent stay consistent stay consistent and work hard which is all true but it's not anything that's going to expedite your journey you're, you're going to you can you can work hard forever and if you're working hard and doing the wrong thing you'll never get to where you're trying to go and that's that's the issue but the biggest key to success is something that a lot of people don't realize how powerful and impactful it is because Coming from nothing, I, I'm from the hood. Come, like coming from the struggle, you see things differently. So anybody always trying to sell you something or pitch you something, you see it as a scam. You see it as they trying to take the little money that you have and stuff like that. So we're not used to this new world we're living in where, or it's just so many things that you could buy and mo most of the stuff don't help. So you don't know who can be trusted and who can't. It's just tough. But the truth of the matter is your network is your net worth. Network is everything and mentorship is everything. Those are the key things that changed my life. When it comes down to success on YouTube, I got a brother that I met. Um, he's from a whole different community. He was literally famous back when I was still trying to figure out how to grow. He already was famous and like he he was he was popping, he was lit lit, like he was up there. And he was telling me things at that time that I had no idea about. Like, I mean, he he pulling a million views every video he dropped and stuff like that. And I'm like, bro, how you do this? He's like, hey, you know Mr. Beast? He talked to my guys. And my guy said, this is how Mr. Beast do this. So then I start doing this and look at what this do. And it's like, I'm like, oh, I didn't even know that. Why he's that analytical? This is what Mr. Beast knows. So when it comes down to, when it comes down to it, Mr. Beast has said in interviews, oh, I help some people get successful on YouTube, blah, 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 and stuff like that. Like the people that he's referring to when he's talking about the people he has, he has helped become successful on YouTube, I know exactly who he's talking about. And I know exactly how he's helped them and what he's told them. And this information works. And this is, this is what's important. And this is what I mean. A hour conversation with Mr. Beast is worth hundreds of thousands of dollars being able to talk to him for an hour is worth hundreds of thousands of dollars literally because he can give you all the information you need to be able to run a channel that makes hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month and that is why certain things is worth the investment all of my mentors who helped me become successful it's not even i didn't have to pay because i didn't have money at that time but i had to pay in certain ways because i let's Take it to my investment community. When it comes down to my investment, I didn't really have any money to pay for mentors and stuff like that, but I gained the attentions of my mentors because they saw me working harder than anybody in the community. I posted more videos than they seen anybody post. I was posting my three videos a day. I have, to put it into perspective, everyone in the community combined probably has a total of maybe 500, 600 videos, something like that. I have 1.5 thousand videos on that channel by myself. And that was from the first year. That was from the first year or maybe first and second. But 1.5 thousand videos by myself. That's how I built my name. That's how I built my reputation. Then the, the cherry on top is me turning $3,000, a $3,000 investment into 200K. See, so that's when you're bringing people value with all the videos and content that I was making, keeping people updated, keeping people posted, giving perspectives and sharing insights and things like that, I earned the respect of them. I was giving them value. And that's what made these people align themselves with me. These people, a million dollar net worth, a billion dollar net worth, I have no way to get into the same, into the, into the same vicinity as you. There's no way that I can make it onto your radar I'm black, poor from the hood. There's no way I should be able to make it onto your radar. These are guys that have so much money, I would never be able to even afford time with them. Like, they literally are charging people like 5K, 10K, stuff like that just for an hour of their time. So you take people like this 
and this is the type of business that they're conducting, this is what they're doing, and this is their circle, how would I have ever got into that circle if I had to actually pay and come out of pocket? The only thing that I could have possibly done is bring value in another way. And that is a very powerful thing as well. But when you have content creators who are offering things, who has a, who has this well of knowledge and who's offering things for affordable prices, and that's what I do. I price affordably. Like $150, like if you invest in the latest PlayStation, you can invest a fraction of that money and invest it into your YouTube career, which is guaranteed to actually make you far more money than that. Because $150, you'll make that, I guarantee you'll make that your first week if, if you're monetized. But if you're not monetized, you'll make that your first month. So literally, you're making you're making it right back instantly. <laughs> that like making $150 is not hard on YouTube. It's not difficult whatsoever. And if it is difficult for you, it's because you don't know what you're doing. And you can keep hammering away. Like I said, it took me 10 years. And within that 10 year span, it wasn't just me gradually getting better every single video. While I was getting better every single video, I met my homie who helped me and he had information from Mr. Beast and his friends also had their own information and nuggets they use. And I've met my own circle of people and friends and stuff like that who we've learned things together. It's been a constant journey. So who knows how long it takes because I've been lucky when it comes down to the people and the quality of people that I've run across throughout my career. I was lucky in that sense where I came across people like this. You could go hard forever and never run across these same people that I've come across. And that's why sometimes it's just easier to pay your way into a network, pay your way into having a relationship with someone. And that's the quickest way to get someone's attention because people got bills to pay, but people got money to make. People are out here grinding and working. Nothing in life comes free for no one. And that's what you really got to understand. Nothing in life is going to come free for you. It's not going to come that easy. Um, so you have to be willing to invest in yourself. Investments is the fastest way that I have ever seen success, investing in myself. I've been around the right people and they have the right information and it basically expedited my journey so fast because I, I remember um, I remember my friend, like when he was getting views, he was doing little 100K views, uh, 50 to 100K views every video. That was his average. Then as soon as he meet these guys who know Mr. Beast and he start listening to them getting this information, he getting a million views every video. I'm like, bro, like it's that easy? And and it really, you really don't realize how easy this stuff is. It's not, it's not as easy as it actually is when you don't know the information, but after you know it, it's like, wow, that's obvious. It completely makes sense. So that's what you all have to understand. You have to understand that you have to be willing to invest in yourself. If you're not going to get someone's, if, 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 if $50 and $150 is way too much for you, then you have to be willing to bring value in another way. But some people just will not need the value that you're trying to bring them. Cause like, like for me, for instance, I don't need nobody editing my thumbnails. I know my thumbnails aren't the best. I don't care. I can get views without them being the best. I know my videos could be edited better. I don't care. Like I, my content is not the type of content where I need it edited. It's like, there's very little you can offer someone like me. That's why I just charge reasonably for, for especially for the amount of knowledge that I know, because it's not just people will look at, like people have this skewed mindset of what it means to be successful. If I had a million subscribers on one of my channels, it would be easy to make people think, oh, he knows everything, he knows this, he knows that, not realizing I could have a million subscribers, but the thing is, I've been at this for 10 years. By the time I figured out every single thing I needed to blow up a channel to a million subscribers, I didn't have the energy, the need, the drive, or the want to have a channel that big, especially doing it in the ways that will get it big. I'm not gonna be out here high energy, barking, acting, acting sus on stream, like all type of stuff that, that people want to see in this day and age, I don't have the energy or care or want to do that. You wanna know what I'll do? I'll find someone like you who does have that energy, that drive, and you're willing to pay and invest, by the way, by investing yourself. I'll find someone like you and like, oh, you got that drive? You got that energy? All right, watch this. This is exactly what you do then. And I guarantee it'll work. Cause I know what I'm doing. It's like, just because I don't wanna do it don't mean that I know. You don't think I know that I could put more effort into my thumbnails? You don't think that I know that I could edit my videos a little more? You don't think well, I could edit my videos at all? You don't think that I know I know how to edit? <laughs> I literally can edit. If you look at my videos on my other channel, ASK Vail, look at my oldest videos on the channel. They're edited. That was me editing, what, seven, eight years? I was editing good seven, eight years ago. I look at my content now on any of one of my channels that you all know about, 
Look at my channels now in 2024. Like, you'll probably find a hard time trying to find a video I done edited. I barely remember the, the, the brief moments in time that I edit these days. I don't edit. You don't think I know how to do the things that I don't do? I know it. I have the information. I just don't need it. My business model, I'm lazy. I'm lazy and I don't want to pay for editors. So I've found a business model that allows me to be lazy and still, you know, run my business and make, a, make it profitable and still enjoy what I do. That's it. Even though I have all the keys and knowledge and success and wisdom and all of this stuff to grow and be be this million subscribe channel, I don't, I don't want to. I have no interest in doing that. And then, then the, the ways that maybe I would be interested in, like, like a, a going around helping somebody, giving them tens of thousands of dollars, or, or helping somebody homeless, putting them in a, in a room for the night, giving them, like, I don't have infinite funds where I'm finna sit here and I can do that and make it sustainable. I, I can sustain doing that type of channel and that type of content where I'm helping people or something like that. Something that is, that's still low energy, chill, and it's basically back around me giving back and stuff like that. I'm not in a position to keep giving back to that extent. I got my own family and people that that's close to me that need help still. So I got, you know, I got stuff that I got to take care of. So the things that I could and would be willing to do that could take me to a million subscribers, I don't have I don't have the um the time to do it. I don't I don't have the time or the resources to do it. So the things that certain things could take people to certain heights right now. And some of you all have that right now. So don't judge someone just because they don't want to get to certain places and think that they can't. It's like certain people, it's, by the time I was exhausted and wanted to quit YouTube many times along this journey of learning everything that I know. Now that I know everything, it's just certain stuff, I'm real with myself. I'm like, yeah, I would start a channel doing that and I would get wiped out and tired of doing it within like the first week. I'm not gonna even do that. Like, and, and that's that's just the truth. I know I know a thousand ways I could blow up channels on YouTube. But most of them, it just goes back to the same, not doing it, too much work. <laughs> That's what it is for me, bro. Like, and if you look at the consistency across all my channels of me never editing and stuff like that, you'll see, oh, he just he just kind of lazy. I work hard, but I'm lazy. I work hard in a lazy way. I make sure 110% of the value in my videos is me and the things that I'm saying. That's not That's not the greatest mix for people's attention spans in this day and age. You need editing, you need sound effects, you need things going on in the video to keep people drawn in. Who's listening to people give speeches like this? It takes a certain type of person to do that. In this generation, you're not gonna find a lot of that. So that is why me personally, you don't see me blowing up, going viral to, to crazier extents. That, that, is, that is the truth, and I'm aware of that. But I also know how to make myself go viral if I wanted to do that as well. So keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, it's all about your network, your network, who you know, your mentorships. Be willing to invest in yourself, man. It's very important, and it, it will definitely change your life if you invest in yourself. But yeah, that being said, let me know your thoughts. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.